Hey guys, back again with another video, and this video is going to be um, just explaining and showing you how to set up side sync for your Samsung phone. And this is the new version 4.0, which actually adds so many more features and just makes everything easier. So you do not need to plug in your phone to transfer files, etc. I will have more videos on how to use it and all the basic functions, but for now, this is this will show you how to set it up. So pretty much, you want to go onto your Google Play Store and install the SideSync app. So pretty much just search for it, side sync. Here you go, I've already got it installed. Install it and open it. Once you've done that, you wanna while while you're doing that, you also wanna install go to um, the website for side sync on Samsung and install it for either Windows and Mac so it does work on both which is a good good um good inclusion and then you want to make sure that you open that on um, Windows as well so I've already downloaded it so you open it up and as you can see it will search for the devices and pretty much all you got to do is click on um, the device you are looking for and it will connect and as you can see here it's connected and pretty much all I need to do is I can mirror the screen and I can also set up apps here so I can add apps so if I want for example Adobe boom it's added there not much else you can see your notifications you can even go on apps here it's pretty much your phone on your screen and if you have a touchscreen laptop like I do, even even better. So you can even, it's like pretty much a phone. And I love it. I use it all the time, especially for transferring files, etc. And you can even have your messages open and reply to messages if you're on your laptop, etc. And don't worry guys, you can rotate it. You can make it so it's always on top like that you can screen capture and you can enable presentation mode what this does is that you can um, view it on both screens when um, presentation mode is not enabled only one screen will be on at a time so if I then go and turn on my Samsung phone that will turn off you'll note it well, usually it does. See how it doesn't mirror the screen? I'm moving it and that's staying still. So pretty much this is inactive and this is active. Once you um, switch, so once you start using this, once you click phone screen, sorry, it will then mirror it again and turn this one off. So you can use both screens at the same time, but then again, um, that's up to you. You need to enable presentation mode. There is a few bugs with this, as you can see, like when using the phone and then going back to it, you kind of need to play around with it a little bit, but for most part, it's good. And tune in for my next, for my next upcoming videos to show you more features and how to use this um, killer app and app on and software on your phone and your computer anyway guys i'm out until the next one